Good afternoon. Well, things look a little different from uh, from the seated position of of my view. Um, as you can tell, we're not on uh, not on old faithful KDM, but uh, we're uh, we're piloting aboard a nice new BMW. R1250 uh, GS Adventure. So we left home this morning uh, with the intention of taking the uh, KTM from Bunbury to Perth back to uh, BMW Motorrad in Perth. I've uh, been dealing with Joseph up there. Great guy, easy to deal with. Um, the whole the whole transaction has been really seamless, really easy. Really good. <coughs> We've uh, we traded the bike um, with those guys, so uh, today's the day that that we uh, we go and drop the bike off and we pick up the new one. Well, well, well. Where are we? Let's just park it right here, eh? Uh, turn that ABS back on. So, uh, yeah, bike, bike pickup went well. Um, pretty easy, sign a few documents, um, run over the basics of how all the instrumentation works, uh, be able to change a few settings, bits and pieces, things like that. Um, and that was pretty much it. We're on our way. We're probably, I don't know, half hour, 40 minutes yep. at the dealer to do the switch over. Um, shed a tear for the old bike as we drove out the driveway. Yeah, well, we, uh, we flicked through the Odo and we'd done a 40, just over 47,000 Ks. 47,000, um, yep. Yep, and that's like all our Ks on that bike for six years. So, yep. yeah, she's been a good beast. It's been a fantastic bike. Look, I can't take it away from, from that bike. Um, yeah. We really had no issues with it whatsoever. Um, the main the main reason for us changing is moving forward with our plans to do some, some bigger travel and some uh, overseas world travel. Um, we, we feel that the BMW is the bike for us to do that on. Um, so that's, that's the main reasoning behind that. Um, yep. Yeah, so the amount of off-road that we do on this bike hopefully is not going to change to what we were already doing on the KTM. Um, there'll be a few little changes to happen to the bike um, in order to make it, you know, uh, protected and safe and bits and pieces so we can do those things. Yeah. Uh, but that's all in due course. So once we dealt with the Perth traffic, um, it was actually quite nice we decided not to do the main highway back and took uh, Nell Park Road, uh, just angled down and stopped and dwelling up for lunch just to take stock. And that was pretty much the first 100 k's on this new bike. Yeah, yeah, first 100 k's done. So it'll be another a bit over 100 to get home. Yep. Um, we're gonna head out the back of dwelling up now, um, out to a little place called Windanning, uh, and then we'll shoot from there back across the Collie and uh, back down to home. Uh, probably probably won't do any off-road today. We'll just get the feel for the thing on the road and um, go from there. Like I say, there's a few. There's going to be a few little things to change, um, but uh, so far, you know, as as we said in the uh, in our test test ride video, um, the bike is just so comfortable. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it's a real pleasure to ride. Um, the difference between a chain driven bike and a shaft driven bike um, just everything's much much smoother um, yeah you know we're probably sacrificing some off-road ability I, I, I'm guessing um, well we certainly haven't lost uh, or we've certainly gained on-road ability this bike is an absolute pleasure to ride on the road um, and two up uh, it's got full electronic suspension on it. The, the thing's amazing. It's so nice. Yeah, I'm very comfortable and yeah, really happy 
not so concerned about a couple of the trips that we want to do that we have to sort of do three or four hundred k's just to get to the start of the the route that we've mapped out um before it was like oh that's a long time on the bike a lot of stops where this is just um yeah it's very comfortable we did that 100 k's and i didn't have to kind of shuffle or adjust myself on the seat or anything really nice moving forward you're not going to see a uh, a brightly colored kdm all sticking up for regan rides not in australia not in australia look we've still got the kdm sitting in new zealand uh we have no plans whatsoever to get rid of that bike um, for over there it's the perfect bike um, yeah for, for what we like doing over there um, so yeah this is this is uh part of a bigger plan for us having this bike yeah um, for sure and uh it's a it's a lengthy process to try and get yourself in a position to go and do some some world traveling um, and we want to try and get ourselves in the in the best position we can before we go um, and we think that having a bike like this um, will, will help us so uh, yeah so i hope you uh, hang around for the ride and uh, we're going to have plenty more coming up uh, we're coming into our winter shortly if we ever get any rain um, it's still really really dry here so um, but we've got plenty of rides planned for this year um, yep. along with me skipping away to India uh, in just a, a just on two months um, I'll skip off to India for a, for a fortnight so uh, that one's gonna make it to the channel for sure um, and then in between that it's gonna be rides on this thing now yeah can't wait First ride on the new bike in the books, albeit just a road ride. Call this one done and uh, sign off here. So uh, hope you uh, hope you enjoy the little snippet about us getting a new bike and uh, continue to follow along. Uh, like I say, we've got plenty of uh, plenty of travels planned out. So uh, looking forward to uh, getting out and doing them. So uh, yeah, jump on, give the uh, give the videos a like, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, the little bell notification so you know when we post a new video. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.